We want you to be safe this summer when you're out in your boat on the water, and so does Mobile County Sheriff Sam Cochran. So should a problem arise, you have a flotilla you can send out. So what, is, what does the flotilla do? The flotilla is a volunteer agency that works with the sheriff's office and they are search and rescue units. So if someone gets out in the water and becomes uh, in danger or something like that or, or missing and things like that, the flotilla is the agency that would respond for us and then we coordinate our uh, efforts with them. And so uh, this time of the year, they get busy. So basically they assist the Coast Guard? Well, the Coast Guard and them work in conjunction with one another. Oftentimes the call, distress calls goes to the Coast Guard first, mm -hmm. but more times than not, the Sheriff's Flotilla will be involved. And you have some boating safety tips for us this morning. Well, one thing that the flotilla requests people to leave a, a, a float plan on the dash of their vehicle if they've launched their, their boat at a, at a public boat launch somewhere like that. Kind of leave a little float plan on the dash that you can see and it shows where they go and what type of boat, how many people are in the boat. But then once on the water, of course, observe the same, you know, the safety rules. Children should be in life vests at all times and, and, and of course, everybody's required to have life vests on the boat. But, uh, and then follow the other laws, things like BUI, boating under the influence, parallels driving under the influence. The laws are very similar, almost identical. You can be arrested for boating under the influence, the same as someone driving under the influence. And more times than not, that plays a role when people get in danger or get lost at uh, sea or lost in the depth or things like that. And checking the weather, I think also important before you get out in the water and our meteorologist here at Fox 10 can help you with that. And you mentioned sure that float can. plan. Want to make sure that everybody knows a little more about that. You said place it in the window. Window of your car where, where you, you know, at the launch, you can okay. leave it with your vehicle in the dash and we could see right through the, the windshield and have an idea of what type of boat belongs to that vehicle, how many people left on that boat. And you can download a float plan on your website, correct? Yeah, it's on our website. You can download that or if you would, you know, just write out you know that information but it's very easy for them to download. So fill that out and make sure you have that. Also probably a good idea to let friends, family members know where you are if you're going on long trips. Yeah, know where you are, know where you're going and, and oftentimes it's better to write it down. Uh, uh, let's say for instance you go up in the Delta, you may tell your wife you're going to Chuckpea Bay or this or that or somewhere. She may not know that, she just says Mobile Delta. Well, uh -huh. it'd be helpful to our people if we knew what part of the Delta and if you gave that specific term, you know, we'd know where to start searching. Good idea and if you do have any questions, you want to talk with someone at the Mobile County Sheriff's Office, Office. We have all that contact information on Fox10TV.com on our Studio 10 page.